Long Island beaches have been on shark watch since last month. There's been several sightings pretty close to the shore, too, and that's forced beaches to shut down. News for us, Greg Sergal talked to an expert uh, who explains why Long Island waters seem to be more shark friendly this summer. At Robert Moses State Park today, a welcome lull for lifeguards who've been patrolling for sharks in recent days. State Marine expert Jim Gilmore has also been monitoring the shark activity, and he says shark sightings like this one on Wednesday now seem to be the rule and not the exception. They go for an easy meal. That's really what it comes down to. And for the sharks, the eating has rarely been better. This drone video shows massive schools of bunker and bluefish stretching for miles off Long Island's south shore. The big question, why so many of these bait fish? The coastal waters are warming just because of that, the climate change issues. And that warmer water, Gilmore says, is also drawing species of tropical fish north from the Carolinas and Florida, adding to the shark's daily feast. Those species that we haven't seen very much are becoming more and more prevalent. The sharks off our shore, however, are not new. They've always been here. Sandbar and sand tiger and spinner sharks. None, Gilmore says, is a threat to man. The majority of the sharks we get, both in terms of species and numbers, are fish eaters, and that's what's on their diet. The feeding frenzy should continue, Gilmore says, until our waters cool and the bait fish move south. Until then, experts will keep watching, simply to ensure that swimmers steer clear of the sharks while they dine. Greg Sergal, News 4 New York.